How's it going? My name is Aaron Ennis and I am a professional fitness trainer here at the Cooper Fitness Center. Today we're going to be discussing strength and power routines for active aging adults. So just to provide some context, strength training is key for your initial day-to-day -day routine. So if we are looking at adding in these movements, whether we are wanting to maintain muscle mass, bone density, core strength mobility, these are things that you want to incorporate to your day-to-day -day routine. Today's routine, we have four different movements that require a resistance band, super simple movements that we can kind of go through on our day-to-day. -day. Whether you are here at the Cooper Fitness Center, or if you are traveling for work, or if you're out of town, or these are things that you can also do at home. So our first routine is called a good morning. Most cases, if you're here, you might see it. A lot of the times we see people use a barbell. Today, we're gonna to use a resistance band to mimic the same thing that we might see out on the fitness floor. So going into your movement, needing a resistance band with handles, first setup is stepping into the band and making sure that your feet stay within the center, right? So from there, you're gonna go into a 90 degree angle with your arms, bringing it up to your torso and then you're gonna go into a slight hip hinge. One thing that we constantly see is more squatting with the movement. So if we have to focus on eliminating that and then focus on going straight into a hip hinge. Okay, so our secondary movement is going to be an anti-rotation movement, which is strictly for core. You're gonna need a resistance band with this one as well. What we wanna focus on is stepping out enough to where you have enough resistance, pulling you in from the cable or the resistance band. Uh, what we're gonna do is bring your arms to your chest, to the center of your chest, and you're gonna fully extend out, going into a pressing motion. Our third movement is going to be the anti-rotation going into a lunge. So still keeping that same format, bringing the band to the center of your chest. From there, you're gonna step out and go into a lunge. And then going into a pressing motion. Our fourth movement is going into a bent row. This movement is a mimic of what we see out on the fitness floor, which is a seated bent row machine. From there, what we're gonna do is using the resistance band, you wanna give yourself about three or four feet of resistance within the band. From there, you can go into a slight squat. From that position, you wanna focus on leading with your elbows rather than going into a pu pulling motion using your forearms and your wrists. So when performing these four routines, uh, rep count, most cases you wanna keep anywhere from 10 to 15. Again, whenever you select a band, it's solely based off the thickness of the band, depending on the color that we have. Uh, most bands start a little bit thinner and then gradually become a little bit thicker. The more thicker the band, the more resistance that you have pulling you in. Rep count, again, keep it anywhere from about 10 to 15, and you would do this for about three sets.